Hey everybody, it's Dynamic Math here. We're going to investigate today what it means for two segments to be congruent. Okay, so notice here in the applet screen you have a, in the applet on the screen you have above there you have two segments whose vertices you can move anywhere you want. You could pick this up, put it wherever you'd like. Again, same. You could change the length using the segment on the left, right? So just go ahead and change the positions of any one or more of those endpoints of either segment. Doesn't matter. And then slide the slider and watch the action that happens here. Check it out. I'm going to slide the slider and notice here we have some kind of action going on and uh, there we go and segments are therefore now congruent. Well, what does it mean for segments to be congruent? A lot of students often tell me, well, it means they have the same length. And whereas, yes, it is true that congruent segments do have lengths that are equal, that's actually not the definition of congruent segments. That's actually an effect of segments being congruent and not the cause. Again, if you're sick, you want to know the cause. You just don't want to know the symptoms. So let's actually go back for a second, hit rewind. We'll just change the position around here. Let's actually just move it slightly, okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. But let's hit, slowly hit this one more, t uh, slide this one more time. Check it out. What's going on right here? I mean, it's, I see a slide, or that's more of an elementary school word for a what? I mean, a slide, this is a geometric uh, transformation called a what? A trans yes, a translation by vector. When I translate an object by a vector, a direction vector, right? I don't change the size. I don't change how long it is. In fact, the translation is actually what we call an isometry. And an isometry is a geometric transformation that preserves distance. In simple terms, what that means is that as I slide or as I translate this segment, notice that the length of the segment is not changing at all. So therefore, the, the, se the dash segment that's moving is congruent to the, to the original one. So I'm using a translation by vector. And now, what's going on here? a spin or a rotation about a point, right? And so a rotation about a point does not change size or distance either. And there you go. So again, segments are congruent by definition if and only if you can take one segment and map it onto the other segment under any one or composition of two or more transformations called isometries. Now, the three isometries we've learned about already are translation by vectors, a translation by vector, a rotation about a point, and also a reflection about a line, right? So you can reflect a segment in a line and still get another segment that consequently has the same length, but no matter uh, where you put these two segments, it doesn't matter. You will always find that you will be able to map one onto the other by using a composition of two or more geometric transformations, and there lies within the definition of congruent segments. Again, segments are congruent if and only if they, you can take one of them and map it perfectly onto the other under any one, two, or more composition of any transformations called isometries. And that is what it means for segments to be congruent. Thanks for watching.